Hello there and welcome back to some more Crash Bandicoot uh, 1 Insane Trilogy version. In the last episode what we did was we got all the gems besides Stormy Ascent and now we're going to do all the relics besides Stormy Ascent and we're going to do that last. Relics, I don't know how hard they are, but we're going to try and get gold at least. Platinum may be a bit above me, but gold should be doable. Here we go. Do it. Who's that bandicoot over there doing the dance? I had no idea who that bandicoot was. Boom. A dot. No. We'll just go for Joe then. There we go. What relic do I get? None. That wasn't enough for any relic at all. Oh god. Okay. Maybe getting a uh Ow. An invincibility mask would help me. I hope I have to do this every single time. It's going to really annoy me. It could just save Joe. That'd be useful. Please tell me that's enough for at least something. Oh, God. Oh. That's what I want. Get 34 to win platinum. Okay. 34 or below. I see. First thing I want to do is check if the first three boxes had anything. They didn't. Maybe it's more like that the uh, requirements are all closely linked to each other. If that makes sense. That wasn't really great. Here we go. So how? That didn't help. But luckily the checkpoints go away. And you also don't lose lives for trying this, so... I'm going to have more work cut out for me is what they're trying to tell me, basically. That's fine. I'm used to it. This is how we're going to do it. Invincible in every level is what we're going to need. But for longer levels, it gets easier. It's only hard in short levels because they expect you to be pretty much on the money. Too fast for your puny blocks to handle. Yes, clearly. That 
That box is weird because it's on a slope. The last time I bounced on that box, that probably helped. 34 won't be too bad. I bet it's like 34, 32, and 30 for platinum. Which makes my head spin because how would you possibly go fast enough to do that? got to wait for the blocks. Maybe it'd be faster just to run across while I'm invincible on the left-hand side. It's worth a try because I'm not getting anywhere doing this. Like that. There you go. That's faster. It must be. Okay. Now I'm just going to run across the left. There's no set, uh, checkpoint or um, time blocks there, but it'd be still faster. Don't have to wait for anything. Twenty six point eight five. Oh, that's a gold. That'll do. Thank you very much. I might just start putting a a a a a a a a a. But go. Thank you. All. Twenty-five seventy-six. I could do that if I went on the right-hand side, possibly, and got all the boxes. One minute three. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to look at the target time before I start. There we go. Okay, so doing that loses my mask, but I can go back and get it. Minute three. Mind? Target time. You want to get invincibility as soon as possible because it makes you go faster. And in this game, there's no sliding or slide jumping or whatever to make yourself go quicker. Like you'll be seeing me do in Crash 2 and 3 a lot where you just slide bounce like a crazy person. That's how you go fast in that game. In those games, even. This won't be particularly quick. I'd have my invincibility here normally. Now I'm just doing it to take hits. Here you are. 0950. See, on fast times, on slow levels, it's easier, see? That's only a sapphire. I'm going to get golds, at least. I would like to retry, please. Right, so 49.50 is what I got. That was without Aku Aku Invincibility. So, just that to keep in mind. I need 48.12. Okay, I need to save a second, which is easy to do if I'm invincible. The next thing, if I do this, okay, that doesn't make it into a Akraku box. Fine. Eh. This may not be as easy as getting the gems, which is fine. I actually don't mind it being a little bit hard. Just the first level scared me a bit because the time was so... But I felt like it was so punishing, but actually when I got the invincibility, it was really easy. Well, not really easy, but easy enough, you know what I mean? That one. So where did I lose my mask last time? Yeah? Yeah, I lost it there again. And I lost another one here. The timing's all wrong. But I should be invincible by now. And then I'd be spinning and just going through everything. I got last time. 49.50. I'm gonna restart. Okay. 
That's another good thing about time trial. If you don't think your time's going to be any good, you just restart. It also doesn't cost you any lives, so... We'll do what we did last time, we'll do one world a video. Unless one level starts to give me loads of trouble. The only downside on relic bases and relic challenges is that on levels where the levels are actually hard, you can't die. You have to do it all in one go. Right, so I took a little bit of extra time there, to then take a little bit of extra time here, to then just go through this like this. a load of time like that, but that's fine. Ooh. Is that a platinum boy for old Joey? He'll take it. Didn't deserve to be a platinum boy, but he got one. 45-42. Loving it. Okay, the great gate. Target time. show me what I need for gold from the start because I don't want to have to deal with platinum or sapphire bullshit. What, a minute and five? Okay. Do this thing. The main risk to a good playthrough on this level will be falling. Don't want to fall. Falling is death. Same for all vertical levels, really. But if I do fall, I'm not just going to quit. I'm going to keep going. Ah, shit. Thank you. That ain't going to help, but it's fine. Now I'm down one mask. And also down three seconds of, of free time. bear that in mind. And I inevitably don't get the, the gold. Eh. Okay, I don't need to wait there. That's fine. No, I don't need to wait here either. 55 nine is probably enough for a sapphire. Yeah, but it's there. Technically, I could move on. You ain't gonna, but I could. You can just get like a memory of one, just to memorize one name. I just press it and go. How far off was I? 53.29, so not a lot. Ultimately, considering I waited for two seconds for a thing I didn't need to wait for, and missed three seconds time box. It wasn't anywhere near as bad as it could have been. But I'll always be impressed by people who just do this without even thinking about it. They just get platinums easy. I'm not one of those people. I'm happy with gold. It's better than the bog standard. It's not quite as good as actual speedrunner, so... That's what I want to do. Even if it saves me only a little bit of time. Save me time. Shit. I like how that smoke goes up. Like, Ow. It's fine. See you later. Forty-eight point nine. How good's that? Gold. Okay, that's fine. Probably forty-seven something for platinum, which is also possible. Probably. Well, obviously, because otherwise it wouldn't be in the game. But a little bit beyond my scope. I think for Platinums, I expect you to pretty much face tank some things. 
Well, that was about one second away. That's fine. All right, bothers. Let's do it. One minute four. It's not going to take a minute and four to beat this level. That was a straight line. Here we go. Just a tiny bit of time there for having to go back to the box. Problem. how you'd really save time on this level. Get that three would help, but I tried to get it and I missed. This is like nearly the end of the level now, so A series of long jumps and that's it. Good enough for a sapphire only. Okay. I thought I did better than that, but that's fine. That three box I missed probably screwed me. Forty nine seven, I need a forty nine four four. Okay, yeah, definitely that three box. No problem. Let's do it. Just wait until I have to slide through every level. I'll die so much because I have to fucking slide everywhere. Just you wait. I'm not a big fan of sliding. I'm not very good at it. Then in Crash 3, you've got to run everywhere and slide. <laughs> you shouldn't really do the relics until you have the running boots. Because it makes it so much easier in Crash 3. You also get double jump in that game, so... They do explicitly tell you when to use that shit, though, so it's nice. Five. All right. Thank you very much. I'll take my platinum. Like I said, I knew it had to be close because what else can you do to save time in that level in Crash 1? Any platinums I get is just the icing on the cake, really. Okay, upstream and then that's it for this video. So, upstream. Not Coco. Wrong button. Meant to display the target time. Choose next world. One minute three. There's a lot of one minute threes and one minute fours to beat levels in to get plat uh, uh, sapphires. Here we go. But again, luckily, dying only costs you. There's no way to do that faster. Um, dying only costs you time. It doesn't actually cost you any lives. I know you probably can make that jump. Guarantee it. I'm gonna wait like a pleb, but I bet you can make it. That one I'm not so sure about. I'll wait both times. This feels like such a waste of time. Just to be aware, if I was playing Crash 2, I'd be doing slide jumps. And Cho hoping to make it with sliding jumps, because sliding jumps give you slightly more horizontal speed. Um, well, yeah, if you're going left to right, but vertical speed if you're going up and down. This gives you more velocity, basically. On your jumps. Excuse me. Let 
may have slightly panicked on that one. You also can't get the gem on a time trial level. So don't try. There we go, the gold, that'll do. Once I get the gold, I don't try for the platinum. But if I got the sapphire, I might go faster and get the platinum. That's just how it is. I also never get to find out how close I am. Half a second? Nah, that's no big deal. I could probably get all the Platinums in this game. It doesn't seem like it's too impossible. Just a bit harder. This one would be hard. I'd go faster than I already did by another second. But anyway, see you guys next time. When we go and get the relics. I know it doesn't count for completion. It doesn't matter. Um, and do World 2 with Coco. They definitely do count in Crash 2 and 3. I'll see you then. Goodbye, everyone.